actually a third application here that was not run by uh, by my group, but uh, actually Maria Laura Bancheri was one of my former students, and she worked on um, on GeoFrame and doing this and other things. And uh, now she worked for Chinese uh, in Potenza, and uh, um, uh, she was functional to build the civil protection uh, agency real time forecasting for the. Uh, river. So, uh, in this case, our model was uh, needed to be to go along with other things. In particular, they built the webges, where they have uh, the Basilicata regions for who is not Italian is this one in the blacks in the south of Italy. This is Puglia. This is Calabria. Here we have Sicily. Here we have Sardinia. Here we have Sardinia. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is a lower south than, than yeah. Naples. Huh? Yes. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. You should not jump. Okay. And uh, as you can imagine, the structure, the structure of the model, uh, uh, the news is the structure of the model can be easily implemented in a system like this. Uh, and the idea was uh, providing 12 and 36 hour early, early warning on, uh, on flooding. So uh, the, uh, another piece which is missing here that uh, to do uh, forecasting in advance, we, have, we need meteorological forecasting. So there will be someone that is in particular the same uh, uh, civil protection is uh, producing its own uh, forecasting of rainfall. So in a uh, few hundreds of points, you have uh, reproduction of things like that. And uh, I, okay, one thing that uh, we, uh, if the discretization was not, as, as huge as it can be, uh, we have only 167 uh, ideological response units, meaning units where we have a single data of, of the water budget over there. And uh, uh, the, these units actually were not uh, done, uh, separated on a equally, uh, let's say, subdividing equal areas, but uh, they uh, subdivide according to their <laughs> priorities or the vulnerability of the, uh, uh, of the region. So uh, there, are, there are nine basins going out to the seas. Uh, there are uh, 167 HRU. Uh, not many hydrometers, just 14 hydrometers and uh, 55 monitoring points. This is more or less the, the map. And that's, uh, that's all. That's all. We, uh, we, I don't know, I don't have results, but just I wanted to see here, to show you here that the system can be in a few months adapted to do real time forecast. Uh, uh, obviously you have to embed with the missing information and so it's operational it's not uh, that fake things that uh, scientists do for publishing their papers and then uh, to the end of the rest of the world uh, is uh, yes I believe it's good science inside you can change the science inside if you like my uh, if you don't like my components, you can do your own components. You can add a lot of, of variation. You can adapt from the um, regions where you, you have a few data and uh, to, uh, to other regions where you have a lot of data or uh, regions or places where you, have, you are in the middle of the, of the situation. Having a structure like that is also important from the engineering point of view because 
if you know that it's possible doing <coughs> things like, like this one and then you can modify during time while avoiding your knowledge of science at the same time of the ter territory, uh, you start to build uh, uh, also an infrastructure behind the because you, you start to put people that measures the, in, in the right places where you need uh, to measure and so on. So I think it's a positive, uh, uh, this, all of this gives a positive impulse to, to any, anything. And the novelty is that uh, with respect uh, to what we were doing even, let's say, three years ago, uh, is that because uh, we, we have this special structure of the this special structure of the of the model, you can separate the part. Really separate the part. You can work on a single part alone, and then you can join all together at the end. So, in principle, we can do a, a crowdsource society with a model like this, in which you, each one does his uh, his, ba his own basis. He calibrate his own basis. He put he ca characterize his own basis with his knowledge. And then we can all, pu all, all put together at the end of the process without losing any information. Another thing which is missing, which is not in the presentation here, is that here there are human infrastructure. Another weak point usually on the simulation we do is that uh, when we are talking about uh, scientific work, uh, we think to as uh, our catchment as they are uh, without any influence from the man. Instead, you have, uh, you have a lot of diversions of, of, of water, you have dams, mm -hmm. you have things like that. And obviously, in our system, you can put a dam wherever you want, uh, wherever you want, wherever is need. You can do a model of a dam. We saw yesterday, and you are doing a model of a dam, for instance. And, uh, so, and you can manage it. And so uh, we, we can, in this way, take take into account of, uh, of human infrastructure in the right way. So for today, I have finished, I guess. Just a little of paper that you I share with you later on. Questions? Emmanuel is out, so. <laughs> <laughs> Paolo? No, io bisogna di chiedere, lo sto puntando da mezz'ora. <ride> ok. <ride> Ma per oggi io ho finito.